is high tech has a foundation, the high tech foundation. And so this is the philanthropic, philanthropic arm of, of high tech. I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Kelly Francis to come to the stage. I want you to put your hands together. We're almost out of here. We're almost out of here. But, but this is something very important. Put your hands together for Kelly Francis. $815,000, 163 lives changed for the better. Since 2017, the High Tech Foundation has awarded 163 $5,000 scholarships to Hispanic students from across the United States. These scholars pursue degrees in a variety of majors, including computer science, cybersecurity, data science, information systems, and engineering. Our work includes scholarships, internships, and mentorship for Hispanic technology students across the US. We harness the power of the high-tech community to inspire our students forward, building a sustainable pipeline for future Hispanic leaders. My name is Kelly Francis, and I am the director of the High Tech Foundation. This work is very personal for me. I needed scholarships to reduce the financial strain of college, mentors to guide me and to show me that I can achieve a successful future, a future that I create for myself, as well as internships to get my foot in the door. By happenstance, I entered the nonprofit space and have stayed the entirety of my career. I joined the High Tech Foundation this May to lead our efforts in expanding our programming. And today I have a deliberate ask. I invite you to partner with me to advance our work. It's going to take all of you in this room to ensure that we could reach our goal. And let me tell you, there is something so special about mission-driven work and seeing the lives that you are affecting. I have had the pleasure and honor to witness the positive impact of our scholarships and how they really affect our recipients. The stories of being able to afford school books, to make it another semester with the support of a mentor, and for some of these students, the financial support that they need to remain in college. Shaping the technology of tomorrow begins with cultivating the leadership potential of today's young talent. It is on that note that I have the distinct honor to welcome you to witness the power of the High Tech Scholarship as I welcome Marianella, a High Tech Scholar, to the stage to share her story and what the support that the High Tech Foundation has meant to her. I would also, at this time, like to point out we have two scholars in person with us today Marianella and Eduardo, who are both looking for full-time positions. Now is the time to come together as a community and to get these two young scholars into their first roles and to elevate them to continue on. Thank you. Uh, my name is Marinela Osorio, and um, as you can see up here, I was a high-tech scholar for three years. Um, I graduated in 2020 with my bachelor's in user experience design, and in June, I just recently graduated with my master's in human-computer interaction. Um, and like Kelly said, I am looking for my next opportunity. I'm con currently contracting um, as a UX designer with Pitney Bowes. Um, and I just wanted to come up here and share just how much the High Tech Foundation and the High Tech community has impacted me and my life so far um, in such an early phase of my career. Um, not even just with the scholarship and the, the scholar um, Christmas gifts were always, they were always <laughs> above and beyond amazing. Um, but also through a mentorship program, um, shout out Raul if he's watching, he was my mentor last year. Um, 
and just being able to be part of a, a community that's so open and welcoming. Um, just yesterday, being able to walk up to anybody, it felt like I've known them for years. Um, but we were really just meeting for the first time. Um, and as we saw in some of the sessions earlier today, um, being able to see what I can be. Um, and something that Guillermo mentioned earlier today is you made it into the room, stay in this room. So I just wanted to say thank you to High Tech, the High Tech Foundation, the High Tech Familia for giving me the opportunity to take that first step into the room. So thank you. I mentioned when I first began, $815,000. This work would not be possible without the generous support of our partners and individual members who give financial resources to our organization. Revature is one of those organizations. They have been a supporter of high tech for the last two years. We are thrilled that this year they're extending their support to the High Tech Foundation as well. I am very proud to invite Gretchen Jacoby from Reviture to the stage for a special presentation. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. I'm thrilled to be representing Reviture here today. We're so proud to have been a partner of High Techs for the past few years. Um, and it's great to be here in person after our team having attended these events virtually for the last few years. Uh, being in person, I was actually lucky enough to have a really interesting conversation over lunch today where we were talking about how with early career talent, it's really not a skills gap that we're contending with when we're thinking about passing them into technology careers. It's more often an awareness gap. It's a confidence gap. And it's even a social and professional network gap. Reviture and high tech really share the same mission and values, which is closing the opportunity gap for people who have the ability, the aptitude, the motivation, the grit to succeed in technology careers. And that really starts with the high tech foundation for many extremely deserving Hispanic scholars. Um, Actually, Reviture's support today uh, started, the genesis was with a call to all of High Tech's partners to review scholarship applications for the foundation. And in reviewing applicant stories, our team was just blown away, not just by the journeys that these applicants had, but also by the impact of a gift on the individual, on the family, and on the community that they come from. I think everyone in this room knows that when you're offered a ladder to climb up or a helping hand getting to the next rung, the first thing that you should do when you maybe caught your balance is you turn around and you extend that ladder back down and you stabilize it for the people who are coming up behind you. Um, we are thrilled to offer this donation to high tech today. Um, and to help achieve the vision of lasting equity in the classroom and the boardroom that we all collectively support. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is my pleasure to welcome Yvonne Valdez, the board chair for the High Tech Foundation, to the stage. It is through her fearless leadership that I was put in place, and I'm so excited to take the lead and really put her vision uh, in motion. So, Yvonne, thank you for being my partner in this. Oh, thank you, Kelly, for accepting the challenge. <laughs> so, so, first of all, thank you, Reviture, for the generous donation. So, the High Tech Foundation scholarships, we've been 
basically you heard Kelly say how many scholarships we've awarded over the last few years. Okay, so we have a challenge this year. So a lot of people ask me, what drives you? And basically, and Viviana always asks me, how do you do all this, right? Like, how do you do the full-time job? And why do you have this passion for the foundation? So for me, I was born in Cuba. I didn't know how to speak English, so I could actually relate to Richard's story. Because my first day in kindergarten, I wanted to leave. I wanted to follow my dad. I didn't know how to speak English. And for the first year in school, I felt isolated, lonely, but I never said anything to my parents. So similar to Richard, I overachieved, got straight A's, and I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship based on my grades. But what I lacked was the, if I could see it, I could be it. My dream was to be a woman in business. Well, back in the dark ages, there were no women in business. It was men, and they all wore dark suits, wingtip shoes, white shirts, right? So I didn't see myself in those roles, but I actually, in my mind, I did. So my dad and my mom were very, very concerned. How could a nice girl from Hoboken, New Jersey, you know, from a traditional Hispanic family, make it in this male-dominated world? I moved to Silicon Valley, and back then, now we have social media. Back then, they actually used to post jobs with the recruiter's name and phone number. I decided I wanted to apply for a product management job. I wasn't an engineer, I was a psychologist by trade. So I actually convinced my neighbor to train me after school on ASIC technology. And for anybody that knows ASIC design, it's kind of boring. So I did 30, 30 nights of you know, training and I kept on calling the recruiter for 40 days. On the 40th day, he said, I'll get you an interview. But if you don't get the job, you're never to call me again. <laughs> so here's how the interview went. I went in and the man said, why should I hire you? And I said, look, I'm an immigrant. I, was, I grew up in a family-owned business. My father has always told us that the customer is the king. Kind of like the Amazon story, right? It's all about the customer. And I said, I used to uh, basically throw out, empty out the ashtrays, make coffee, and when customers would come in, I'd make them feel welcome. And I said, you don't have a technology problem. You actually have a customer service problem. And let me tell you how I would approach this job. At the end of my speech, the guy says, can you start on Monday? Okay. If it wouldn't have been because I had the name and a phone number of somebody that answered my call every day, I wouldn't be here today. So high tech is that name and phone number and email, but more importantly, it's people like you, right? It's people like us that we can lend that helping hand. Gretchen talked about looking back on the ladder, stabilizing the ladder and pulling the next generation up. So what I'm passionate about is how do we get our next generation of leaders into the technology space? And that's what the High Tech Foundation does. So I've got a challenge for everybody. In the past, we've just said, you know, we're raising money for scholarships. We have set a goal this year to raise $1 million. Okay? $1 million. So to get the party started, my family and I are donating $5,000 to get it started. So I invite you all. One dollar, every dollar makes a difference. And every mentor that we can get makes a difference. And every internship that we can get makes a difference. So these kids are amazing. And once again, we've got Marianela, we've got Eduardo, we've got both master's degrees, by the way, very brilliant young people. They're looking for jobs. So thank you, and please support us. We need your help. <laughs>